Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to Tarot Lessons 101. My name is Pinky. For those of you guys that are new, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. For those of you guys that are returning, welcome back, my lovelies. As you guys can see here, we are continuing our journey that the Fool has set out to explore coming face to face on our path with the major arcana number 17, the star, the daughter of the ferment, the dweller between the waters, zodiacal trump of Aquarius, Saturn rules, Neptune exalted. The figure of a water nymph pouring herself, a woman naked and kneeling on her left knee pours from a vase in her right hand, silver waters into a river by, by growth. With her left hand, she pours golden waters, which are lost in her long hair. Her attitude suggests the swastika above flame, great stars, seven stars, race tree of life path number 15. The star is one of the most intensely thematic cards in the deck. To truly appreciate its secret, the central subject is Nuisance. Herself here, she is not pictured as the infinite arc of the night sky, but tangibly personified as a beautiful goddess. That 37 pointed stars that populate this card are versions of the star of Babylon and reveal to us, if we haven't already figured out, the newt of Babylon are two aspects of the same goddess. Babylon, he tells us, is yet a further materialization of the original idea of Newt. And Newt herself is the scarlet woman, the sacred harlot, who is the lady in the world of the major arcana. The seven-pointed star as the star of Venus, as if declaring the principal characteristics of her nature to be loved. The river, which is a bit hard to see, flows at the bottom of the car. And it is demarcated by hills on distant shore, perhaps the most exciting departure from the traditional versions of the star, is the huge celestial globe that dominates the card. This globe is often mistakenly, mistakenly identified as the earth. If it were earth, it would be dramatically diminished the spiritual and cosmic skill of this card. The celestial globe represents the entire heavens surrounding the earth. Therefore, all other images on this card are placed outside of the celestial sphere, representing spiritual environments that transcend even the concept of infinite space. The largest and smallest of the three stars are found outside the celestial space. The former spins counterclockwise like a tiny star seed from the golden bowl and the goddess's right hand, the third star whirls counterclockwise on the celestial sphere itself. The two of cups in her hands are fashioned as breast, as it is written, the milk of the stars from her, perhaps the milk of the stars from her golden cup. She pours this ethereal water which is also milk and oil and blood upon her own head indicating the eternal renewal of the categories the inexhaustible possibilities of existence itself the left hand lowered a silver cup which she also pours representing universal medicine of the alchemist the blood of the grail or rather the nectar which is the mother of the blood traditionally the star is the card of hope, the promise of things unseen. What is the hope that Newt offers us? What is the promise of our star goddess? I wish I can simply give you those answers. Understanding this tarot card is also about listening to your intuition. But I'll give you some idea. The star is giving you unimaginable joys on earth. Certainty, not faith, while in life, upon death, peace, rest, ecstasy. Nor do I demand aught and sacrifice is what this card represents. When you see the major arcana, the star, it is about hoping because that's what it represents. If we follow the fool's journey through the tarot, we've been through a lot in the last few cards. We've experienced major changes with the death card, a realigning with temperance, 
a double whammy with the devil, and the tower. Things are shaky and we're not sure what to think or what to imagine. The tower collapses what happens after a building falls. There is rubble everywhere. If you knew the landscape, everything has changed and you're now disoriented. There are clouds of smoke and the air is heavy with ash. You are heavy too with the repercussions of what just happened. You're not looking for the glaring light of the sun or the watery, wavery light of the moon. What you need is a light that will fill your soul and shine on you so gently. Yes, my darlings, that is the energy of the star. This light won't hurt your eyes. The star peeks out and starts to quietly and slowly illuminate you. Beautiful, that's what this card is. It's hope, beauty, faith restored. This card is like a healing bomb on an old wound. Just when you think everything is lost in the dark and twisties have taken you as far as you can see, the twinkling of the beautiful star in your heart lifts only just a bit, but that's a start. She's got one foot on water and one on dry land. She's got endless resources to renew and rejuvenate herself and her surroundings. She's balanced and happy. She reminds me of a friend I had in college. He was very wise for his age, confident, but extremely zen. And whenever around, you felt this energy of utter peace, like whatever problems you were going through just fell away having a conversation with him. This is the energy that the star card represents to me. Her reaction to stress is to chuckle and say, oh, well, we can handle this. The story is the beginning. It's the first drink after days or months or years of being thirsty. Do you know what that feeling is? You're so emotionally wrought and parched that the first spark of kindness makes you gasp and brings tears to your eyes. That's what the star card represents in readings. I have to remind people that it's okay to accept gifts freely. Given, it's okay to put the sadness down for a minute and refocus on those beautiful things around as we often get so used to depression and negativity that we get stuck even after a crisis has passed. We continue our reactionary influence, your behavior, even though it's no longer needed, almost like post-traumatic stress, <clears throat> post-traumatic stress disorder. Really, we have to retain or retrain ourselves to relax and to stop anticipating trauma. It's very difficult to do. And one of the reasons I appreciate how soft this card is it's not as everything is super as the sun card represents, but it's more like a gentle hug and a pat on the back. Everything is super, but everything is going to be okay. And sometimes that's enough. Think of the star in the major arcana as, as an example, have you ever had an incred incredibly difficult week at work? where everything just seems to be going sideways, where life is difficult, your home life is chaotic, you're having relationship problems and issues, everyone seems to be wanting to pick fights and arguments with you. And you just feel extremely overwhelmed, extremely drained emotionally, physically, and mentally. You decide to make a quick stop at the grocery store to pick up something to cook because you're also time restricted. <laughs> And as you walk down the fruit section, for example, someone randomly comes up to you and tells you, that's a beautiful ring you're wearing. Or I couldn't help myself, I just had to come up to tell you what a beautiful blouse you're wearing. Or just plain being utterly sweet and kind to you. And it almost comes as very unexpected and it throws you off a random unexpected compliment. And having been going through everything I previously said, you have that little moment, that gentle reminder of that stranger going up to you and giving you the most simplistic compliment or show of kindness. And in that moment, you realize that that stranger with their kind words made you feel something inside, made you smile, perhaps giggle, made you feel relieved of your stress and worries for that moment in time. That's how I see the star card. It is a gentle reminder that regardless of how small or how big it may happen or things may be going on in your life, it is the exact thing you need to help you see the light at the end of the tunnel. The exact thing, circumstance, situation, or person that you need 
that will help you and assist you in lifting your spirits. We've all been there. You're tired and exhausted and perhaps in a bitchy attitude and you go somewhere public and you're waiting in line and kind of annoyed and a stranger in front of you is holding a baby and that baby starts to make weird, funny faces to you or giggling and smiling. You just can't help it. You giggle or you smile even through that point in time, being in a bitchy attitude, it completely shifts your energy and it changes your mood. That is exactly what the star card feels like. As you know, all the cards in the tarot deck are unison. They come together. They are connected, intertwined. These are different areas, different times in our life that we are experiencing. And when the star sh card shows up in your reading, depending on the cards that follow or that are surrounding may indicate a surmount of things. As an example, the star card is a things will get better. It is about going into your life or going into this time in your life with the positive attitude. But it can also represent Again, depending on the cards that follow or are surrounding, it can indicate someone seeing you as the star. And what is this? What is the star? The star is something that illuminates, it shines. It could be someone that is romanticizing about you or even somewhat obsessing about you. It could indicate that you are a light, a beam of light in someone's life. It can also represent fame, depending on the cards that are surrounding. As an example, if you were to pull out the sun, the star card. These are symbolizations and cards that coincide with fame, with attention, and with being well-received. So my lovelies, who does this card remind you of? A movie, a situation, a character, or a person you know in your everyday life? I hope that you have a better understanding of what the star card represents in the major arcana. I hope you have a closer connection to it as we continue to journey on in this path that we've chosen to learn and teach you guys of the tarot. As always, my lovelies, I send you guys all my love and we will see each other soon. Till then, bye-bye.